Hey everybody, Ryan here with Rant Tech Productions, or online, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to be showing something really cool today. It is free, it is open source, and it's to do something that a lot of us don't know how to do. Read ebooks and news efficiently. It will also let me sync with my iPhone, iPad Touch, Amazon Kindle, whatever you have. It will work for that, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the first screen that comes up when it gets up. And I would like to go to user, shared, Calibre, library. That's what the little dock icon looks like. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. This is my first boot. Alright, so then it's it. Which kind of ebook reader do I have? Well, Apple, iPhone, iPod Touch, plus Stanza. That's what I have. I'm going to continue. If you use Stanza ebook app on iPhone Plus, you can access your Calibre book collection directly on this device. And we do want to do that. Stanza should see your Calibre collection automatically. If you're not, try adding the URL uh, 8080 as a new catalog in Stanza Reader to your iPhone. Okay, so done. So we're going to go ahead and open up here. This is the basic user interface of stanza so this is my first book now this it comes with this thing called Calibre quick start guide I'm gonna open that up here um, so if I want to view it I can hit this little view button and it'll open that up um, so it's loading up this ebook It just says quick start guide, and here's my table of contents. And I can also extend this outward, kind of full screen that. And I, over here, I can look at my table of contents. So I can say installing the main library window. So I'm not going to read this through, but you see, this is kind of the viewer instance, um, which is very nice. How I and the other thing you want to keep in mind is that this can also be printed. Let's go through some of this. Copy to clipboard. So I can make these the words letters bigger or smaller. So it's a great format for anything. Uh, it's really small. And I can also manage bookmarks. I can bookmark different pages. Do that I'm gonna make the screen smaller again and I can close out of that. Right. So what do I want to do? I wanna add a so some news. I'm in English. Where English. And I can just kinda of go through here and pick one. I you know, seen at news, that looks good, I like technology. And I can actually schedule that to download every day at maybe five AM and yeah, every day. So I'm just gonna hit OK. I'm also just going to go to Fetch News, go to English 207, I'm just going to show you right now, I'm going to get that now. Now when it's downloading, there you go, you can click on this Jobs button. When you click on the Jobs button, all the current jobs are going to come up. Now this could take a while because it's going to download a lot of information. So while that's going, I'm going to pause this here and load in some ebooks. Alright, so I've loaded... 25 books into my library and um, and I've loaded some magazines so let's just look you know I've got these right now I have 11 jobs running and it's converting these books to the iPod format and when it's done converting then I'll actually be able to see them on my iPod or iPhone, whichever you have. So while those are converting, I'm going to show you just um, what this, what a Newsweek would look like. So you can just say view. We'll go ahead here and open that up in the uh, stanza viewer. As you see here, it's the Calibre viewer. Separate app just for viewing. So we see that's the cover. Your full screen. I chose to do low resolution. You can make that high res though. 
So I'm just going to go ahead here and look at my table of contents. And let's see. How the political gridlock. Okay. So I can, you know, read through my articles here. I can even, if I want to, I can say bookmark it. I can say, I don't know. Um, I don't know what even name of this was. Whatever, if I'm at this point, I can just bookmark it, say, interesting. And I'll just bookmark at that point. For what it's worth. Um, I can, you know, increase this. I can also look at just in metadata. And I can close this down and close that. It's done converting all my books. Alright, so now that all these books are, are done converting, um, if I hook up a device, I can just hit send to device. I don't have one hooked up right now, but it would automatically send. Um, that's for any type of Kindle or whatever device you have. Um, iPods will just automatically show up in your Stanza library. I have my Stanza library right now, and if I... I'm going through right now and I can just see all of them. They automatically show up if it's on the same network because of the stanza server. So you just go to preferences, go down here to content server and make sure all that stuff is on. You can also like um, get all these different type of outputs or sorry plugins so like Google Books so I can just say hey I want to enable or disable the plugin so those are all enabled um, email delivery Calibrate can actually send books by email so I can say add email I can put in my email address. I'm not going to put it in front of this. But you can have it automatically send. You can also use Gmail. Um, to send it automatically. Automatic conversioning. I can enable system tray. I don't want to. Um, you have all these advanced stuff. Add and save adding books. You can actually change the way um, in which it adds things, so that's handy. Change what, how it saves things, and sending device, you can change all that. This is where you can change the place, and also the output format. I like the EPUB because it's used in iPod, but if you have a Kindle, you could change it. Alright, so I guess... I just go to email. Cancel. So I guess you can look at those. Oh, I just want to show one more thing. If you want to sort it, you can hit this little big tag down here. Click to browse books by tags. Then if I want to look at different news, I can click news. And these are the three news I have. So I can hit digital arts magazine. This is the I only have one day, obviously. So I can click here. And I actually want to read that. And... When I view my table of contents, I can say, hey, look. 20 tours for a photo's 20th anniversary, okay? So here's the article I'm reading. So I take this, I can also, you know, print. If I so choose. But I don't so choose. I'm not going to print my printer's not even hooked up. But you can if you wanted to. So that pretty much concludes this tutorial. Thanks.